Hello, my friends. Welcome to this super special extra bonus episode of Recorder at Norfolk Collegiate. If you um, are watching this video, then you are already on your way to participating in our Recorder Challenge. Um, you know those assembly videos that have been going out where um, I sing the Norfolk Collegiate alma mater, the Norfolk Collegiate song um, with the ukulele every time? Yeah, okay, so our goal is to jazz it up a little bit and instead have the Norfolk Collegiate song be played on Recorder by you all. Um, so to that effect, I sent you the music. Hopefully you have it. We are going to do a quick lesson on this. We're only going to go through everything one time so that you can um, rewind the video and use it again and again to practice if you need to. Um, but then we will, at the end, we'll talk about how you can record yourself, what you should do um, to participate in the actual assembly song, okay? But first, let's learn the music. So pull your music up or have it printed out. Um, and this is a little bit different, isn't it? Because we usually do songs that are not that familiar to us. This one you guys know by heart. Um, for today and today only, we are going to skip counting this song because you already know the, how this song sounds inside and out. You guys could sing it probably in your sleep. So we are going to skip counting and we're going to skip directly to solfege. Now, <clears throat> let's look at the starting pitch, as always. Look at the starting pitch of this. It is our G note, the second space in the staff. Um, and so, what note is that? It's like our favorite note in recorder. Sol, right? The very first note that we learned was sol. Um, so this starts on our sol. Um, I would like you, especially because this song is so long, I would like you to stop the video right now. Just start it off, stop the video, and write in your solfege above the song, okay? And then come back and we will do it together with our hands, okay? Okay, welcome back. Let's do it together. So ready, one, two, ready and so, 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 me. that there's a tiny difference in the way we're gonna play this from the way we usually sing it. Um, it's in the second to last measure. The, but we'll sing your praise and glory from now till eternity. Because our recorder only goes down to do, we can't do what we usually do, which is do, ti, do, eternity. Little change, just wanted to point it out because I'm sure some of you noticed it's on purpose, okay? It's because our recorder doesn't go that low. All right, so let's do our soulfish fingers. Still singing it, let's finger it. <clears throat> Starting on our soul. All right, so before I finger this, I'm going to think to myself, because I know my own recorder playing better than anyone, I'm gonna think, where is gonna be the trickiest spot for me? And I'm gonna think about that ahead of time before I play the whole thing, right? So for me personally, I would, um, I would circle spots that might be tricky for you. Um, in my recorder playing as a youth, uh, anything that had fa in it was tricky to me. So I would circle all the fa's. Um, or you might be worried about that, uh, sing your praise and glory, just because it's skipping. Whatever it is for 
for you that's the most challenging, think about it before we go through it with our fingers, okay? I am going to pull up a metronome. This is the metronome that I sent you, and it is uh, set to 60 beats per minute, which is much slower than we usually sing this song, but I think that it's a really good tempo for us to play it. It is important that we all play at the same tempo because Dr. Thompson is going to take your videos and she's going to stitch them together. So we don't want things going really quickly and then really slowly. So we're taking a nice, slow, steady tempo for everybody so that anyone who wants to can play and we can all be playing together, all right? So this is what our quarter note is, all right? Ta, tim, ka, ta, ta, all right? So we start on our soul. gotten when I started filming this it felt felt okay but then it just got dark and I didn't notice okay so now you can see me um, metronome here we go so I'm starting on my soul <clears throat> one two ready play here. I know we went through it super quickly because this is optional and if you want to practice you can rewind the video and practice um, as many times as you want. Um, so to participate in this have um, some kind of you know camera or iPad or computer set up so that you can film. Have um, your mom and dad help you probably set that up. Whatever's best and then listen to this metronome in a, head, in a headphone, or in headphones over your head, that's fine too, so that we can all be playing together. And then you can play your song, okay? And um, if you make little mistakes, like I made a couple squeaks, you know? If you make little mistakes, even after you've like practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced, um, just go ahead and send the video to Dr. Thompson anyway. She is going to be cutting different parts out probably um, and having a couple of people playing at the same time. So little mistakes, if you're a person who worries about them, please don't worry about them, okay? They can be cut out. Um, but it would be really, really cool for you all to, um, to participate in this because I think it's gonna be really neat and totally unexpected because everyone is so used to me 
doing it with a ukulele. And when you guys pop up, they're gonna be like, floored. It's gonna be cool. So um, let me know if you have any questions. But other than that, I am super excited to see this video when it's all done. Take your video and send it to Dr. Thompson. All right, see you guys later.